Today I'm going to show you how to make your NPC follow the closest person to it. Now we're going to start out with the RCL underscore follow underscore V3. If you don't know how to make that, then go to the previous video and check that out, or just get this invention from the invention store. And I am going to go ahead and unhook the 30 hertz receiver so we don't hear it erroring out the entire time. You can go ahead and you do, what you do what you did in the previous video and configure the cube to be decorational. And then we're going to move it to about eye level. Next up, what we're going to need is we're going to need a look at gizmo. Let's go. We need a look at gizmo. We're going to try and get it as closely lined up with the cube we can and put it up on top of the cube. Next, we're gonna need a vector gadget. I'm gonna stick that lined up with the cube as well. Now, once you get your vector gadget, you wanna try and get it as close as you can to this pin. So I'm gonna try my best to get it very, very close to this pin, very close to the center and very close to pointing the exact same direction. Now, once we have this all set up in a line here, we want to wire the body of the gizmo to the cube and we wanna wire the pin of the gizmo to the vector gadget. Then we want to configure the vector gadget board here and detach it. And then we're going to just kind of move it over, over here with all the other circuits. So the way that we're going to make this work is with a Raycast chip. So the way that the Raycast chip works is whatever starting position you give it, it's going to shoot an invisible beam from that position into whatever direction that you tell it to, to shoot. You're gonna tell it how far you want that invisible beam to go. And then if it hits something, it'll say yes or no. If it hits a player, it'll put the player out. If it hits an object, it'll put the object out, tell you how far they are, all of that stuff. For the starting position, we want the starting position of this beam to be the vector gadget, so right here. So what we're gonna to need to do is get the position of the vector gadget. Gonna get position chip and we're gonna hook up the top yellow one for the vector gadget board. So the top one to the target and then the position to the start position. Then the direction, we always want the invisible beam to be shooting the direction that this vector gadget is shooting, which is the lower yellow one here. The distance is kind of up to you. For this map that we're in, I would say let's just do 20 meters, but you can make it as big or small as you want. So now we're gonna unhook this get all players with role and player element. We can actually delete them. And we are gonna hook up the player because whatever player that it ends up hitting, we want that player to be the one that the object follows. So now this Raycast will detect objects and players, but what we want it to do is only detect players. So we're gonna configure it and we're gonna to go to the chip settings and we're gonna tell it to ignore objects. So now that we have it ignoring objects, we're gonna get an if chip and we're gonna place it right here in between the receiver and the velocity. So we only want this device to start following people if it hits somebody who has the role. So basically, if it hits somebody who's got the role, then we want it to start following that player and it is gonna follow the vector gadget is gonna follow wherever the look at gizmo looks at. We're gonna hook this up, the 30 hertz receiver. If it does detect a player, if if the look at gizmo does, or, or the vector gadget rather, if the ray cast coming from the vector gadget detects a player, then this will be true. If this becomes true, then we want it to start following the player. If it isn't true, then we don't really want it to do anything. So we just leave else false. Now I believe the last thing that we have to do here is configure the look at gizmo so that it follows players, so that it follows the closest player, and then it follows the role that we have set. Then we need to configure the cube so that it is physical again. Oh, wait, is it on? No, we gotta turn it on. And then we also need to configure it to on. So let's just configure that zero to a one. When I touch the, the trigger zone and get the roll, it will then start following me or the look at gizmo will look at me, which will then cause the Raycast to hit me, which I am a player. So it will say true. It will start following the player that comes out here. Let's go ahead and test it out. There we go. And then if we get a few more people in here, we can test it out just to show you that it works for them. If this video gets 100 likes, I will release it as an invention in the invention store. Have a good day, everybody. RCO man out. 
What's up, 9%? This one was weird, okay? In the middle of recording, I figured out a better way to make it. So then I had to like re-record and get people to help me. It was weird. 